Welcome back. So, we're back in the woods. I've come to the same spot I used a couple of weeks ago for hot tenting, because I'm going to be doing some more hot tenting. And I took down some oak nearby, so that's going to come in handy for the stove and that. Uh, it's also a nice flat spot. I know there's plenty of room here. And that's just as well, because I've got all of this. Um, it's Russian bear market. Contacted me and said, would I like uh, a tent and stove set up? Show you guys and, you know, experience it. And they look pretty amazing, pretty robust bits of kit. Um, so I've got the tent, the stove, the floor, and some furniture as well for inside. Um, so yes, uh, don't know what I'm doing, so I'm gonna take it step by step and get set up. Okay, so this here is the tent and stove, but I need this first, which is like a ground sheet. Now the good thing about this ground sheet is it's going to show me the size of the tent because I haven't really got it in my mind what kind of footprint it has. Um, it's all camo this setup. It's kind of a hunting fishing setup really. I mean like I said it's from Russia, it's it's robust, it's for Siberia, it's gonna be warm. This is free layer this floor. It feels comfy. It's a big boy. It's got to be about three meters. I'll have to look at the specs later. It'll be hard for you to see, but the mechanism of this is kind of like that of an umbrella. You might see there. So this is going to be pretty interesting. Okay, that was some work getting that last bit up. I had to really lever it. <laughs> uh, I think we have to fold some bits down and just peg it out. Well, these are the pegs that are in the bag. This one is a bit like rebar. And this one's got like a screw tip on it. Right, I've just put the guys on and you've got these heavy duty tensioners in the pack. I nearly missed them. You have to install yourself. But, oh, yeah. Right, so this is that umbrella mechanism that you open it up with. And apparently, you're supposed to take this out, which makes sense because you don't want to be knocking into it all the time. Unscrew that and then screw this in. And there we go, we've got somewhere to hang stuff off now. So, this should be a door which again has poles in it and is kind of sprung to. Oh, there we go. And it meets them contours of the actual uh, tent. So the tent itself is dual skinned and you have a bug net and a, another door there. Oh, it's a free. <laughs> and then you've got this one as well. Which has Velcro on it.
Right, so you've got a nice kind of silicone kind of handle on here and the door tucks in to this elasticated bit. Top and bottom. There you go, you can roll these up or use them as well. It's very, very cold. Or just pull it to if you're in and out to uh, keep the heat in. I also have here this thick um, outer skin, I think it is, if I remember rightly, um, which I'm not going to need. I'm not going to use that today. Right, here we have the tent stove. Needless to say, I'm only parked about 100 yards away, get right into the woods today. And this came in a crate. <laughs> it came very well packaged. Uh, so we've got a ground sheet thing for it here. Some gloves, a couple of bits. And this is the medium, it's a beast. Oh. Very unusual design compared to every other tent stove I've used. So check this out. Little pack for the legs. Very high quality stuff this. Now you've got these kind of heat shields on here. I think that's what they are. They might also be to protect the glass. And uh, you just have some thumb screws, some wing nuts to uh, hold them in place. You can see here you've got this heat protection all the way up the side of the tent where the stove goes, all the way to the stove jack, which has metal rings, and you can see the uh, two layers and the outer flap. This thing is built. Every part of this is just so hard wearing. You got all this, anything that comes in contact or near the flue, the back of the panel there is all kind of heat proofed. All tucks in nicely. And there you can see that double layer on the different skins. So that's the flue all up and uh, through the port in the tent. And the more I take this apart, the more treasures I find. The nice little coal scoop, a free um, monoxide alarm, and this is a weird old thing. So you've got the flue at the front here, obviously to keep it away from the side of the tent because of its dome shape. And then you've got this round port opening on the front, big handle, and then you have this, which is your air vent, so you've got holes in here, and however far open or shut you have that, allows the air through. Got an ashtray as well, and I've taken the cardboard out so you can see the uh, fireproof glass now. Got a heat shield on the back, and loads of cooking surface, which is good because all my cooking's going to be on this for the next two nights. So the bed's up, the stove's in, your chair's folded out, which didn't take two seconds. <laughs> take a little bit of brute force with the bed, but uh, it's the first time I've done a bed like this, kind of like the army style. Very wide. The carbon monoxide alarm is chirping, which is a little annoying. 
Um, I think the instructions for that are in Russian. Everything else has been really good. I'll have to double check. It's one of them unfoldable ones. But uh, yeah, it's supposed to be for two people, and you could um, in a certain configuration of the beds. Um, but for one and a chair, and I've got a table with me. I don't. I should have room for it. Um, oh, just noticed I'm bleeding from clipping in the ends of the bed. And check these out, they're in with the uh, tent stuff. Velcro up. And you've got loads of pockets. So I'm assuming they go on some flaps that are on the uh, walls. Very handy. So they just Velcro on the top here, and then there's some Velcro tabs on the back. And you've got your pocket storage, as well as these pockets which are on literally every wall other than the door ones and the stove one. Loads of storage. Now I've got to give credit where credit is due. This is a remarkable tent. I've never seen anything like it. The double walls, the triple doors, the triple layered floor, all the hanging points and velcro points and pockets, the way it goes up. Um, the fact that it's not super heavy like a big thick canvas one. It's, it's amazing. That door, <laughs> have you ever seen anything like that? A door on a tent like that. It's amazing, I love it. Now, it's not cheap, obviously, but you know, there's other expensive tents, Hillybergs or whatever, which are near the price of this, that are just a tent. They may be well made, but they're not on this level. I know they're completely different categories. This is probably for ice fishing and hunting, like a base camp, but when you think about the price in terms of that, not too bad. Um, they have given me a voucher, I believe it's 5%. Um, but I'll confirm that in a pinned comment. So if anyone is interested in one of these, check out the link below. But yeah, it's a hard wearing tent. Check it out, my pole light fits pretty perfectly. So that, that'll be nice. So if you watched the last couple of camping videos I've done, you'll have seen I took down some oak here and I came down to film the uh, cooking video last week and I brought a new toy. It's a um, eight inch electric chainsaw. Uh, so easy to kind of stick in a pack and, and walk in with. And um, I was doing some testing with it and it worked well on the oak. So that's a surprising little thing. That's gonna be on the review channel very soon. Um, but yeah, so I've got this oak to process down, got a few bits, and that should give me a long burner for later on. I've got the table up, 
It's getting a little crowded in here. It would be fine if it was just me, but obviously you guys are with me as well, and I need to move the camera around, so I see how I get on with that. Um, but yeah, I've got this little walk area. This door's obviously going to be closed off. I've just got it open for light at the moment. A little bit of air. But yeah, it's looking cosy. <laughs> Love it. Got my oak on one side of the stove. I've got some birch and chestnut on the other and some kindling all ready for tonight. Should have plenty. Though it is a big stove. Well I think I'm all ready to go with this. Hopefully it's all set up correctly. It's got like a baffle on the top um, because the chimney being at the front so the smoke goes to the back and then forward and up. So I'm just going to use a couple of wood walls. And some more kindling. So much space in this. To be honest, I'd say the small stove is probably going to be fine for this tent. I didn't realise the medium would be this big. As soon as the sun was going down, dropping below the horizon there, temperature plummeted. So I got this lit just around then. God, it warms up quick. <laughs> so well insulated. I got the door behind the camera open, both for a tiny bit of light that's still coming through. And yeah, I'm just trying to get used to it really. I'm playing around with the different woods and the um, adapter on the front. It was getting very hot at one point, it was getting red at the back. I think it's going to be very good for cooking that's where all the exhaust kind of comes around on that baffle. I don't normally gush over a tent but I really like this. <laughs> I kind of didn't want to because finding room to store this setup and my bell tent is going to be difficult but uh, they both have their attributes but this has just amazed me. There's so much I've not shown you about it as well yet. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of loving it. <laughs> I think it's time for a hot drink. Well, it's time for a nice cold beer that's been outside. <laughs> mm. oh. Just been uh, chilling out in the tent here and um, getting to grips with the stove. Every stove 
is different in the way it works and kind of, you know, how you lay the wood in it, size of the wood, the air vent, everything. So I'm kind of getting the grips of it. Um, it's not as easy as a door having that port to take off. But the advantages are that you've got a big handle that doesn't get hot. Most of them do get hot. And um, the other thing is, I think, because of the size of this stove, the idea is probably to load it up, open the vent a little bit, close it up, and then just leave it going for a long time. Um, it's not Siberian cold here, so I don't really want to do that. I might try that later, see if I can get it going for a few hours. I also have a couple of these kind of compressed wood long lasting uh, fire blocks as well. So I'll give one of them a go after dinner as well. But uh, yeah, I've got all my food ready to roll, so I'll get that one shortly. Right, gonna go on with some potatoes. Just gonna boil them slightly before I fry them off with some steak. Brand new billy cam. Time to start frying my potatoes. Nice heat on there now. It's steak time. And we've got a nice big ribeye. Nice bit of butter. Oh, looking good. And there we go. Ribeye steak, asparagus and fried potatoes. Nice pink steak. Mm. and some crispy potatoes very crispy starving, been waiting for this for a long time <laughs> don't know what time it is, what is it? about half past seven now I've watched the fox circling the tent can clearly smell the food mm. We'll see if anything's left. Oh, that was delicious. <laughs> I'm stuffed. Oh, we got some geese flying over. <laughs> it's time to try one of these long burning fire logs. Didn't do that very well.
Now that was a comfortable night. Really cosy in here all night. This stove, I put one of them um, compressed fire log things in and a piece of oak on top of, you know, the smouldering bits that were in there. Went all night, just closed it down. And yeah, it was warm all night. I had the um, back door just open a touch on the top just for a bit of airflow. Yeah, lovely. Uh, woke up a few times because of the showers and a um, bit of a rain test, I guess. <laughs> Got no condensation, uh, no ingress of water. Everything's good. Must be time for breakfast. Bit of broken the yolk.
Well, I was going to make a little work table um, ready for carving a cookser another day, but uh, the wood's a bit rotten. I've kind of half assed the legs, if I'm honest, because I knew it was quite rotten up here. So I think I'm just going to make one another day and this is going to go on the fire. But kept me occupied. <laughs> The auger kit is going to be on the review channel um, very shortly after this video, I think. Maybe the next day. So check that out if you're interested. Well, this is the stove some of you would have seen me recently do a review of over on the other channel. The Pico stove. And it's that quick to set up. This is a... Uh, I don't know, pizza pocket type thing. I thought it'd make a good uh, camping snack.
there goes my table. <laughs> I'll make a proper one next time. I felt pretty tired today so I've just been kind of chilling out most of it. Just chilling by the fire now with a beer and I'm just going to enjoy this for a bit until I retreat into the tent and uh, cook my dinner on the stove. Going with a Polish, I think Polish, Bigos stew um, which I've only had in ration pack form before so looking forward, it's going to be the first time I've cooked it. I've not got everything that you would traditionally have but I'm going to approximate it. But yeah, just gonna chill out here with a beer first. Right, let's start the stew off. Onions. And some pork shoulder that's been put in flour. Got some bacon here that I've chopped. some chopped kielbasa sausage chopped mushroom and some cabbage uh, give that a mix Fry it off first before I start the stewing process. I'll add in some sauerkraut as well. That should do. Go in with quite a bit of paprika and some mixed herbs and some salt 
and pepper. I've got a bit of garlic to add as well. The crumbling of beef stock cube here. Add in some tomato passata. Touch of water. Give that a stir. It smells good already. I've still got to add that garlic in. been a little while now and hopefully this uh, bigos or hunter's stew is ready oh god it smells good <laughs> make sure we got lots of that meat first very hot <laughs> because mm. try a bit of that pork this is winter food oh, so good <laughs> you should try this supposed to have a little bit of red wine in it as well just to enrich it but uh, I didn't think it really worth bringing a whole bottle <laughs> oh that was seconds and thirds it's pretty much all gone definitely all the meat's gone <laughs> Oh, good morning. Just been out for my morning walk. <laughs> it's nice to get back in here, it's cosy and warm. I wasn't going to light the stove this morning, but um, when I opened it to have a look in it, it sparked back up, the embers. So, just waiting for that to burn out, really. I don't want to put more fuel in and get it hot enough to cook on, because um, I pack it away. So I'll probably use the stove to do some pancakes on. That's my plan right now. But... Uh, was another very cosy night, I must say. Really beautiful morning with the sort of morning suns just catching the kind of brown leaves on the trees. I've uh, already taken my mat down. I had um, foam mat underneath it as well. Just because this is a metal bed, I didn't want anything catching it, but the foam mat was wider than that anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. I wanted to show you, well, when I get some stuff out of here, a couple of the features of the tent that I didn't really mention before. It just keeps giving. <laughs> There's so much space in here without the camp furniture. <laughs> I'll show you on a cutaway with the action camera because it's got a wider lens. I really could do with one for this camera. The bags of space for you to decide what to do with. After setting up the stove, I found this little vent just behind where the stove sits. And it's got a heat proof backing and a Velcro tab. And uh, 
That'll bring you nice fresh air in with the stove and then you can vent it out a window if you want to. This is of course the inside of that vent and that just rolls down, Velcro's in place. One thing I've not shown is these half moon windows. They're on the uh, other sides from the doors and you've got this inner side which you can roll up. You then got this is a mesh with like a woodland camo um, pattern on. And then you've got your outer there, but then you've got this kind of PVC clear window, and the outer outer, which uh, velcros on out there and goes underneath a flap. So how's that for quality? <laughs> You've got all your options, just some sort of mosquito netting or a proper window or just opening it up to vent some air in. <laughs> what is that? There's one, two, three, four, five layers on that window. And not to forget on the outside of the windows, you've also got these spreader bars as well, so it's another option for venting. And they're them flaps all the way around. The only other thing I wanted to mention now, because this isn't really a review, I'm just kind of showing you the tent, is you may notice there's a zip all the way around the inner kind of floor and wall area here. So just like with the bell tent that I have, you can take it all the way off. And I'll have to get a shot of it when I take down. But once you pull back an area of that um, sort of carpet, you've got um, further holes which you can unzip in the three layered floor underneath this, the uh, footprint. And I'm guessing that's for uh, doing your um, ice fishing. Now, like I said, I kind of got this through and I took it straight out. I was pretty excited to get out in it. Uh, so I've not read up everything that I probably should have on it, but uh, I will do before I review this thing. I've brought me a table outside now. The tent's pretty much empty other than the stove just burning out. And I thought I'd use the stove out here for... Uh, Pancakes. The secret's out. I had shortbread last night. <laughs> Just going to mix up some batter first before I light the stove. Just got some flour, baking powder, a little bit of salt and sugar in the bowl. An egg. And some milk. I'll just whisk that together. and loads of maple syrup. Oh, let's give this a go. Mm. Pancakes and bacon. And a beautiful morning. A bit chilly. A lovely bit of sun.
I'm on my last few bits here to pack away and lug back to the truck. So I'd like to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you are interested in one of these tents, there's links below and there's that discount code as well. Um, yeah, loved it. Great camp. See you next time.